Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, my content is mostly fragrance review videos. I do lifestyle and fashion videos as well. So if it sounds like, sounds like something you are here for, obviously, and are interested in, please do not leave without joining the uh, family by subscribing. I also want to acknowledge my returning subscribers. Thank you for coming back. I have 22 perfumes in front of me. And uh, this is uh, because of a request I got in the comments section, okay? Uh, uh, a subscriber or um, reached out to me and said could you do fragrances middle eastern fragrances that do not contain oud okay so this video is because of your question no na tea okay i am going to put her uh, um uh, her name there yeah, it's no and i think a forward slash or ha or like a, a dash na tea okay uh, so i am doing latafa fragrances within my collection that do not contain oud. So for those people that, uh, you know, uh, are always watching my Middle Eastern fragrance reviews and they were wondering, okay, how do we just sum it up? I've got 22 fragrances, not necessarily 22. Some of them are not here because, uh, but I have included them because I did reviews already. They're not here because I decluttered them, but I included them here as fragrances, you know, that do not contain oud from the Latafa fragrance, uh, uh, fragrance company. Okay. So the first one that does not contain oud is wash washer okay i'm not going to go into too much detail because the fragrances like i said i have done full reviews of most of the ones i have here so wash washer this is the oil i i i, I decluttered you know i decluttered the uh, I decluttered the actual perfume, okay? Wash Washa is a raspberry bitter orange uh, mixed with some florals and vanilla. That one does not contain oud. The second one that doesn't contain oud is going to be Najia, okay? I did a review of uh, this one, Najia, okay? I'm talking about this one, the uh, silver one, I think, because I think there's a black one as well. So, Najia uh, is masculine. It's got some grapefruit in there, mandarin orange, some rose, some cinnamon, some leather, and some patchouli. This one does not contain oud. It's more, um, it's it's more, you know, uh, uh, Western based. So for those that want uh, one that does not contain oud, as well as one that does not have that Middle Eastern feel, Najia would be the one for you. The third one is this one, Mahasin Crystal Violet. Okay, my lights, of course, won't make you know you see much. Okay, so this is the uh, fragrance oil version okay this one's got some bergamot uh it's got cream it's got some clove in here violet it's a soft floral okay it's a soft floral uh doesn't contain oud i'm not sure whether you can i think you can find this one in perfume form okay but i own the oil version the next one which su surprisingly does not contain oud is this one shake al shayuk the Lux edition this is a rose saffron cinnamon woody um embery fragrance okay this uh does not contain oud but i would say be uh you know just cautious cautious because uh this might actually give you that oudy vibe because it does have a lot of woods in here it is it comes across as though it has oud but it doesn't have oud and it's a it's it's quite light okay the next one is going to be this one lil sabaya this is a, a soft if i'm not mistaken spicy floral that's woodsy warm and it's a vanilla -y scent as well this one is a pretty scent for the ladies out there really gorgeous uh, and this does not contain oud as well next one that doesn't contain oud is kashabi by latafa I'm trying not to spray this one. Uh, these, you know the fragrances okay this is lemony a bit lemony citrusy fresh scent uh yeah it's really it mixes great with the uh, woods that are in here it also has a bit of some florals in here so this one is um gonna be more on the unisex side for those people that don't want oud you can go ahead and get that one the next one is gonna be a deep i did a review of this fragrance okay this is like a spicy citrusy floral with some bitter orange okay no oud in here but really middle eastern leaning okay this is got that exoticness to it so so, uh, you know, you've got to be after something like that. This is like, it's got the bitter orange, but it's not like on the flimsy, almost, uh, you know, airy kind of orangey uh, vibe. Uh, so in as much as it's a citrus, it's quite, uh, it's quite um, um, piercing. So it's got that exoticness to it. So you will smell Middle Eastern, but it does not contain oud. The next one, and this one is pretty obvious. This is Ekshiari. Okay, this is like your concoction again of, 
you know, the, 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 this mandarin orange in here, your citruses, uh, basically, you know, there's, uh, jasmine and some cadenia. So it, the citruses are mixed with, um, you know, again, that, um, they're mixed with the uh, florals. So this is really going to be that your sparkly, bubbly, mouth-watering, juicy fragrance that, that is more Western leaning than Middle Eastern. Okay, the next one is going to be Anna Aviad Leather. Okay, this is your sweet, syrupy, sweet, thick, uh, uh, fragrance. Okay. There's orange in here, pear and some dry ember. It really feels really s s sweet. So, uh, for this one, you've got to love the sweet fragrances. It's really like sticky, syrupy, sweet. Uh, but there is no oud here. Okay. The next one is going to be this one. I decluttered the actual bottle, but I have this, um, spray can. This is a pure musk. Okay. This is baby powdery. It's like talc, like it's a musky scent. Okay, so obviously for those that want, you know, really like the, a fragrance that's like on the quieter side, this is going to give you that. But it's also really musky, like I said, and the name is befitting. It's called Pure Musk for that reason. The next one, okay, is this one. All right. Um, this I am going by, um, you know, the notes listed by Latafa on their pamphlet. Okay, because I know this one. Uh, a lot of people will say it does contain oud, okay? But all I can say is, if it's an omission on, on Latafa's part that this one has oud, let's just say the oud here is manageable, okay? But according to Latafa's pamphlet, which is here, I'm going to show you here. According to this leaflet, okay, which is from Latafa, okay, oud there is not listed as a note. So this I decided to include specifically for that reason okay so this is um rums latafa the gold one this is like a fruity blast of black currant some pear some apple uh, mixed with some florals this i see as well western un uh, leaning uh but uh you know one that a, a lot of people will tolerate this i kind i actually like this i've gone on to buy a bigger version of it because this is just a, a 30 ml so this is really gorgeous okay uh, the next one that uh, you might want to consider if you want to buy a Latafa that has no oud is Ajuat. Okay, this is one of their new uh, new ones for 2021. All right, Ajuat is like a creamy, uh, fruity, thick floral that has got some jasmine, some rose in there, ember, and some cedarwood. Okay, this does not contain oud, all right? Uh, I likened this to uh, Delina, and now it's, it, it, to me, it's now leaning more again uh, towards, uh, you know, Mancera's Roses Vini, something along those lines. But if you know, uh, you know, Delina and Mancera's Roses Vini, there is some similarities there. So for those that, you know, just want an idea of what this kind of leans towards, that is what you get. There's a lot of creaminess that goes on in here. So, and it does also lean a bit uh, lactonic. Uh, um, so yeah, that uh, this one does not contain oud. That is uh, ajwad. The next one is a musk salama. Okay, if you want to smell pretty, you want to smell. Uh, uh, you, if you want a musk that is really creamy, that is pretty, that feels like a bit of like, a bit like ice cream, a bit you know, but also catering for both uh, uh, you know unisex. This is one that I would recommend. Musk salama. Okay, it's just a fluffy, really uh, pretty, thick, creamy uh, musk here, and there is no oud here uh the next one is gonna be this one anna abiyad rouge there is very little that i can say about this that hasn't been said already okay this one has got some saffron and uh it's beautiful it's sweet it's got uh you know it feels a bit um plasticky a bit rubbery but there ain't no oud in this one so if you want uh that you could try that one another one uh all these ones i've done full uh, you know, reviews, individual reviews of them. So if you want an in-depth uh, explanation, you can just go to my videos and click on the particular one that you want. I normally give my videos eight to 10 minutes, 12 minutes sometimes each. So you can get an in-depth review of these particular ones, the single ones, okay? This one is Alder Al McNoon. This is like your lemony, 
uh, citrusy, lemony, zesty kind of fragrance. And uh, this one does not uh, contain any oud. All right. And uh, I'm, there are some that I've decluttered, which I'm just going to list, uh, you know, um, you know, one after the other, because I think there's four or five missing here, which I've already done reviews of. So I'm going to just mention them here. There is Rams Latafa Silver. If you want that one, that one does not contain oud. There's Faha by Latafa. There's no oud in there. Uh, Masaji okay uh, you can check the video I don't have the perfume but I did the video and I decluttered uh, the perfume as uh, you know uh, uh, a while ago uh, there is Samao by Latafa uh, that one I think is more in line with uh, pure poison or uh, is it, uh, uh, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken that one has no oud uh, Kaltat um, Kaltat Al Arabia I did that one it's like a fermenting fermented fruit kind of fragrance it's got spices in there cloth of cinnamon a bit woodsy there's no oud in that one alder al mcnoon or oh, I, I did mention that one um, um uh i think that's just about it for the ones that i did i think i did also a layel maleki okay that one is like a spicy really spicy fruity fragrance it's got pineapple some idol aldehydes in there some cinnamon some roses some jasmine if i'm not mixing up my uh my 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 notes i think that's what that one's about that does not contain oud so yeah those are the 22 fragrances within my latafa collection it's because you know um there is a tendency of you know, um, um, some people then coming and saying oh, this. I'm talking about the fragrances, the Latafa, the 22 Latafa fragrances within my collections. The one I've already done reviews of that do not contain oud for those people that would like to venture into the Latafa fragrances, but do not want fragrances that will include oud. So I was just talking about the ones I have in my collection, but obviously there is going to be a lot more than this. My name is C Chronicles. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you did find this video helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you own any of these, or if you, you know, are shocked by the, some of the ones that I spoke about that actually do not contain oud, but they feel like they, uh, you know, have oud. If you you know if you you get confused there some of them do lean woodsy so woods a lot of woods and uh, and spices and spiciness and whatever sometimes can come across as that okay so some of them the ones i have here do not contain oud but will have that exotic feel so if you know for some reason you feel i could have sworn this one would contain oud no according to the company itself they do not contain oud so yeah see chronicles is my name let's meet in the comment section remember to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already turn on post notifications that way you'll be notified when i upload a video let's meet in the next one and remember smelling good is a form of good manners cheers